Here we go. Ferrocialari. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> After E4, what have I played recently? Played the uh, Italian game. Let's um, let's see if we can get a uh, Sicilian here. Okay. A uh, normal open Sicilian so far. I'm playing the classical variation. <clears throat> and that's one of the main responses, the Richter Rouser attack. Or is that um Yeah, I think that's actually Fisher, the Fisher Sozen. So what to do here? I guess I will prepare to castle. And uh, yeah, this is the Fisher uh, style attack against the uh, classical Sicilian. A quick kingside castling bishop on this could diagonal here. Um, I still want to get some pressure on the C file. Question is, do I want to go bishop uh, d7 or do I want to go a6, b5, and bishop b7? That's going to be a little bit slower because my knight, I have to worry about my knight. So he's slamming out these moves automatically. And I do have to worry about the um, push. Make sure I can deal with it. Two pushes, he could push e Five or f5. I can take in both cases. Take, take, take. So after, yeah, in both cases I, I can still take. <clears throat> that keeps the uh, f file closed. That's one reason why I wasn't so worried about that. I mean, he did inflict some pawn damage here by um, giving me this isolated pawn. Can I just push that pawn to um, d5 right away? I guess he's got knight and bishop on it, and I don't have enough, enough force there. Okay, let's uh, start this typical knight maneuver, maybe over here. Just force an exchange of that bishop. it doesn't have any squares to run to. Well, can go here, but I mean, I get to exchange it wherever it goes. So it looks like, um, you know, white was playing out a standard pattern. We can check that out in the postmortem and see if uh, that was correct, or uh, who, who deviated first from the main line there. But uh, at this point he has to think. Can't save the bishop. He can uh, pin the knight. You know, one idea maybe is to put the bishop on um, d5, try and lure my knight away from, uh, okay, yeah, he just goes for the pen. That's pretty straightforward. Here we go. And I'm just going to play um, a6 here. It's not, yeah, I guess I, I don't want to give up that pawn for nothing. His rook might get active on the second rank here if I just give it up. Get, uh, you know, it's not <clears throat> it does create weaknesses. He can maybe get a knight to b6, which would be annoying. I guess he would, he would need a little help to get there, because the queen's got that square covered at the moment. Anyway, um, I'm thinking I can do something like uh, bishop c6 and pawn to d5. Is that true? Um, if I play pawn to d5 right away, he can trade off the knight and then grab the pawn, so that doesn't look so great. Although the, the knight is loose there, so maybe there's a tactic 
I can exploit. But probably I should just live with this uh, backwards pawn for a while. One idea is to um, just uh, double up on the C file, play B5, B4. I have to be careful I don't lose the A pawn there. Okay, brings this queen up. Makes sense. That's uh, going to be a useful piece, and it will allow him to connect his rooks, bring a rook over to the E file, hitting my bishop here. So I want to uh, kick this knight, or kick kick his bishop right away, determine, determine the intention there. Ah, he wants to keep the bishop. Okay, if I were to play knight to h5 here, where is his bishop going back? Then I could play bishop f6. He could kick my knight. I could take his knight. So weak pawn is going to be a problem, isn't it? Okay, well anyway, since he unpinned my knight, maybe I'll just uh, play simply here. Okay, he's going after that uh, b6 square, it looks like. Or maybe he wants to play um, c, c4. Let's kick, kick that knight. And uh, now I have to worry about, I do have to worry about um, <clears throat> the uh, A-pawn there. So if I play my queen here, he's got bishop there, it might be annoying. If I could drop my queen back to um, b7, if he plays bishop to e6. Play queen b7. Also, maybe just bishop f8. Bishop f8, and then if he moves the knight, I can take his bishop. Okay, yeah, so here's the moment of truth. There's also knight h um, or g, knight g4. And bishop just drops all the way back. I think I'd rather just um, drop back with the bishop, get out of trouble there. Drop back with the queen, I mean, get out of the sight. Get out of the sights of that bishop. And knight g4 is still possible here. Also, it would be nice if I could get a, some piece looking at the uh, g2 square. The queen's already looking at it, and it's pinned. A light squared bishop would be nice to get into the game, but he's got this square covered with his knight. Is there a way to distract this knight? Maybe that's the point of uh, knight to g4. Knight g4, bishop moves, bishop f6, and I can get rid of this guy and play bishop to uh, c6. Although it looks like I would be losing my uh, d pawn in that point, at that point. But if I get here, if I get the g2, that would be good. Okay, Ferrucci, Ferrucci. Ah, I just moved it away voluntarily. Like that. So, bishop here. Uh, I guess I should think about where he's going. He's trying to come into the king side here somehow. Or maybe he's just um, trying to generate pressure against this pawn. 
he's going to play knight to um, maybe he was threatening to play knight to uh, <clears throat> e4 there and have queen and knight hit my um, d-pawn but I prevented that and this is a move I wanted to play anyway so so now if the knight just goes back I can take on g2 it has to move to a square that protects g2 Okay, he dropped his bishop out of the way. So now if I play knight to um, e4, and he takes and I take, I'm hitting his queen, the queen moves, and then I have bishop to f6, hitting over here. Where would his queen go though? Knight here, knight takes, bishop takes. Queen could just go to uh, d5 or d4. Let's see if I push the pawn now. Let's let's put the rook behind the pawn. Maybe I can push it all the way. I just did not see, uh, I mean, 94 I probably was playable, but I didn't see it leading to any kind of um, advantage. And the rick, normally you want the rick on the open file, but I, I kind of want to push this pawn forward. So one, two. When it goes forward, it blocks in the bishop, but it opens up this bishop. Uh, let's think about knight e4 again. He's, he's taking the pressure off of a6. Knight e4, knight takes, bishop takes. Is, is hitting this pawn over here as well as the queen. The queen moves. Can take here. Can take. He can't take here because it's still defended with the bishop. Yeah, he just took. I realized after I played that he could have played knight to um, d5. That might have been a good move. So he's got two pawns to worry about. There's the c pawn and the f pawn. So he decided to defend the c pawn. And... Um, I'll take here. Just have to worry about uh, any knight moves. He can uh, move the knight with tempo on my bishop. Well, a pretty tense game so far. I can pile up on the c pawn or I can play bishop to um, f6 and hit the uh, b pawn. Okay, so he's. Uh, Trying to clamp down on my pawns here makes sense. So if I go bishop f6 first, he pushes. When I go rook here, where does he go? Let's try it. I pushes that way. Okay. So now uh, I can ram this pawn through, right? Well, it makes sense to try and dissolve it here. But I guess he's got that square firmly blockaded, the uh, d4 square. His bishop and his knight are on it. So not a lot I can do there. Maybe it's time to pin the knight. Okay, he just blockades. And uh, 
So bishop here. See where his rick wants to go. Yeah. So let's um just gotta watch out where the knight can come. I get my queen uh into the game a little bit. Where it's not blocked by my own pawn. I'm not sure. At first I thought I was looking at the uh, h2, but that's that's very firmly defended at this point. You know, he could try something like a um, sacrifice here. Exchange sack. Rook takes bishop, pawn takes, queen takes h6. Might be interesting. Although I could take his rook. Yeah, so he would have to exchange rooks first and then, then play that. Maybe rip to um, e4 is an idea here. If he trades, then that's pawn moves to the e file and becomes a passed pawn. He does trade, okay. So now the exchange sacrifice is possible. He doesn't go for it. So rip to e4 here. Rook takes, pawn takes, and I've got that passed pawn for the end game. Or just uh, drop the bishop back. I don't know. I mean, I think the bishop is okay over here. Ah, no, but he wants to uh, wants to put pressure on my uh, d pawn. So this exchange is better for me, I guess. He doesn't have to take, but it defends my bishop. There we go. And he gets his bishop out of jail. So if I trade, we'll have opposite colored bishops. So I don't want that. Um, let's, uh, let's bring this bishop back to where it can defend the e pawn. I don't want to play bishop takes knight, I mean. If he plays knight takes my light squared bishop, I'm okay with that. That one would be all right. Because then we both have uh, dark squared bishops. So I would consider bishop takes knight here with the light squared bishop. Just goes back. Okay, how do you make progress here? Maybe threaten to come into the back rank. Well, there's a mate threat. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, you know what I should do? I should uh, maneuver this bishop around a little bit. Get in. Um, Get in uh, f5, f4. Uh, he's running. He's running low on time here. Okay. Well, that's clever. That um, hits my queen. I can't take it. So I wanted to play here anyway. Get my queen and bishop lined up on this diagonal again. I'm just checking to see if he has any uh, knight discovered knight discovery moves against uh, queen or bishop. Okay, so he dropped his queen back. So I'm going to play 
here next. And now I think I'm set up for uh, F4, F5, F5, F4, rather. Get those pawns rolling. That's the way you make progress. Ah, he did have a discovery there as soon as I moved the pawn, right? He was probably waiting for that moment. Let's see, but where can the knight go from there? Anywhere? Goes there. And, uh, and once again, that's that uh, I don't want to trade. Okay, he's got here and here hitting my queen. We're still going to get these guys rolling here. It goes there. Yeah, hitting the queen. Let's um, cover these squares. Okay, he's going there. Where is he coming next? Don't know. Let's uh, kick that bishop back. If I could undefend his knight here, maybe there would be something clever going on here. Let's uh, keep pushing here. Okay, let's try and trade bishops. go. He doesn't have a check. <laughs> I was worried for a second. Okay, there. He can go there. Okay, so from there he can go there. I don't know. It's very tempting to play something else, but uh, it wasn't actually working. So I'm just trying to improve my bishop a little bit. How about here? Maybe this is a way to, to force something. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's attack the pawn over here. Going to try and win this endgame with the superior power of the bishop versus the knight. The bishop is covering the squares these pawns have to go through. And, uh, and I do. Looks like I win this one, finally. <laughs> well, that was a tough struggle. Interesting game. I will uh, upload this and see you guys later. Bye.